Okay, so today, <laughs> yeah, drum roll. I'm going to be talking to you about Chivido 2024. I want to just share some behind the scenes, some of our thought processes with you. And I just said, what's, what's the best way to start? And I'll just start with Chivido. And then, of course, there'll be more that I'll be sharing with you. So Chivido 2024, hey, how did this begin? So in 2020, as you all know, we're in the event space. We always plan events. You know, we always um, have guest artists come and perform. For the last few years, David had always performed at some of our events. So in 2020, I met David again, and he had just finished performing. And I was just outside, and David says to me, you are planning my wedding. This was in 2020. But of course, as you know, after 2020, a few things happened, and, you know, life got in the way, and they had to put a pause on planning you know, the wedding. Fast forward da, 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 to 2024. I get a message in my DM, right? And I just see a message from David. No, David O, right? As you all know. And I just see a message. Um, Auntie Funke, my sister is going to call you. And I say, what is she calling me about? And he says, my wedding. And this was in February. And I was like, yeah. Now, Coco's wedding, we planned Coco's wedding a few years ago. Coco is one of David's sisters. So we planned her wedding, love her. She became like my sister friend. And then I got a call from Coco to say, hey, David is getting, David and Chioma are getting married. Ba, 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 ba. Their traditional engagement is going to be happening in June. And I was like, I'm ready for this. And then I get another call from Sharon and Jennifer. Jennifer is Chioma's sister. Sharon is David's sister. And then we begin the process of planning the biggest <laughs> wedding in Nigeria <laughs> in 2024. Now, keeping this information quiet <laughs> was a huge task. So from February, I had to like seal my lips. But it was only a selected number of people in my team that knew. Because, you know, for us, discretion is very important. And we just want to make sure that clients feel very comfortable. So when we, we were reached out to vendors and everyone, we did not disclose who the client was initially of course for the old team as a fire they all knew but we just had to of course keep it quiet so for even for the vendors they were not told at the early stages when we were actually speaking with them now the planning process began the couple as you know very busy david is a superstar touring all over the world Chioma, just having, you know, the children, just, you know, really taking care of family. So what we needed to do was to start planning. And they put us in touch. They said, you know what, just talk to my sisters. They can actually represent us. So between uh, Sharon, Coco, and Jennifer, we started the planning process. The first new task was finding a suitable venue. Then after that was curating the guest list. So you can imagine for such a wedding, how do you manage the guest list? How do you even ensure that all the guests are well attended to and well taken care of. How do you make sure that nobody, because we're looking at about 3,000 people, how do you make sure that every single person feels well taken care of, feels thought of, and they don't feel like they were not appreciated? So we began the task of thinking, you know what? We, have a, we got the venue, we have got two halls, and then we said, you know what, in order for people to be able to, you know, um, have a good time in terms of just going from one hall to the other, we divided the um, timing so that everybody will, you know, will witness the day for this couple. So we, we had one hall and we had a connecting tunnel and we had the other hall. So, of course, choosing the right vendors, making sure that we got the best of the best. The brief was also very simple. What was one of the brief? Make sure that you deliver a great guest experience and you deliver a great experience for the couple. So the best food, the best decor, best drinks vendor, best small chops vendor, music, lighting, every single aspect of this event was very important to our client. So the team that worked on this event with me, the lead project managers on this event was Cordelia, Flourish, and Esther, and of course with the larger team. So one of the things that was a really major challenge for us was how do you make sure that all the guests feel well taken care of and they feel special. So from, um, you know, just from even the curating the guest list, creating QR codes for the guests, you know, some guests had physical invitations and that was just because, of course, of the parents and the kind of the profile of the guests that were coming. So, you know, you're, you're going to have governors, you're having senators, you're having, apart from that, you're having the media people. Now, one other huge challenge was the entourage that was going to come with all the people that came. Every single guest, in fact, I would say most of the guests that came, came with one 
aid or one, you know, like if I came with 20, 30. So just even managing that alone was a huge task for us. You know, then also even the road, the security and logistics on the road, there was a lot of traffic. And that was just because everybody was coming into the venue. Everybody wanted to come and see their superstar getting married. You know, and then of course on the day, you know, it rained. It rained. Even while we were setting up the day before, the rain was like, it didn't let up. But we did not give up. You know, we were relentless. While it was raining, everybody went over and beyond as the Zafar events team, all the vendors, every single person, people were just, you know, trying to just ensure that, you know, they just delivered, you know, despite oh, you know, the rain, you know, even on the morning of the event as well, when David and Chioma had their, you know, photo shoot in the morning, with all the photographers and the videographers, we had to have as many videographers and photographers because we're going to shoot from different angles and the family, you know, it's a large family. So you needed to make sure that everywhere, you know, was captured. One of the highlights for me was David and Choma's energy. Like they had energy for days from 7 a.m. in the morning till 4 a.m. They were like hyper. They had energy. I think that was one of my major, major highlights. Another highlight for me was the family dance. You know, Shema dancing with David's dad, dancing with her dad, her mom, David, all of them all dancing together. You know, the, the, you know, it was, I thought that was such a beautiful, and that showed me, even with the families, right, and just even from the planning process, just showed me how they all really, really like, just are really in each other's corner. They are really in each other's corner. So that was one of my major, major highlights. So, and the feedback from every single person, oh my goodness, has just been really good. The family, everybody has just given us amazing feedback. I'm going to share the feedback with you, but I just want to say a very big shout out to say thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Coco. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, David and Choma for trusting us with your wedding. Thank you, the Adeke, Adeleke and Ejofo family for trusting the fire events. Some people might, eh? You not go touch ground for this app. Yes, now. Una might not fit touch ground. Since una not like better thing. <laughs> Guys, una listen to the video when I just play finish now. Mm? This one are the CEO of a Zafari event. When she give insights on the throwback things of a Chi Davido 2024. According to her, say it was even in the year 2020, Davido called her. Like to plan their wedding in the year 2020. Oh. <laughs> so a lot happened along the way. Una know now. A lot happened along the way. The video picking by baby mamas, desperado, slay queens, uh, de uh, desperate, uh, de uh, de side chick. Everything happened along the line. That's why they now postponed the wedding. Some people, when they say, now say as when they say, David only got married to Choma because of her son, Konkbae. Una hearan, when the CEO of a Zafari event, the event planner of that day, said it was actually 2020, the year 2020, David called her hmm, for her to event his wedding. Anyway, I thank God, say, all these things, don't they come out to light? Yes. Darkness and light not get anything in common. So, thank God, Davido and Choma, they don't need to come out, come prove to the world, or to come tell the world, say, yes, this union is actually built on love, like Davido found his soulmate. This marriage now divinely ordained by God Almighty. They don't need to come to prove a point to Una. Thank God, people will know the inner cocos, the inner cocos of the old thing, from the Genesis to Revelation. They don't they come out small, small. They let Una no say or more. <laughs> it can only be God. Like, it can only be God. Since February, guys, eh? Since February, nine David will call this uh, event planner. Since February, oh, one of the talks say now, hurry, hurry marriage. They're they not planner. Since February this year, nine David will, and the family call this Zafari event planner. Make them start the preparation. When we say last last, they can't fix the date for June 25th, 2024. So some of them when they say why the rush, they will just hurry, marry Choma, uh, this one, this one. I hope so now don't they see the truth now. Una don't they see the truth from the old thing. Now don't they see the truth yeah, the truth. This happened four years later. The year 2020, 
to 2024. Now, not saying I say now destiny. Now, not saying I say now waiting it go be, now it go be. When I'm not saying I say if not be Choma, it couldn't, it couldn't have been anyone else. All the desperate baby mamas that we are still even knocking David from the year 2020 that David wanted to got, got married to his wife. They, they do undercover relationship. They, they knock David, they carry David left and right. They carry David, they go uh, Ghana, go they do New Year. Shame on Una. Una don't hear Una. Shame on Una. Those of Una, desperate bloggers, when Sophia Momodu don't, don't blind their eyes and deaf their ear. Una here said she talk. Now since 2020, now David will call her, say, you are planning my wedding. Guys, it has always been Choma. Since 2020, oh, and till uh, February 2024, God can reveal the, the, the date for them. Hmm? She video 2024. I, I beg God, eh? God works in a miraculous way. God has planned it even before now. Everything happened for a reason. Something must happen for something to happen. Everything that happened to Davido and Choma along the line when they, they planned their wedding, hmm? it happened for a reason. We don't need to question God. But thank God, say, at least evidence don't show everywhere. Evidence don't dare everywhere, say, Davido not just carry or remarry Choma because of what happened to their son or because of what people they talk. No, it has been planned long time ago, since 2020. When I hear and when she talks, say the biggest wedding in Nigeria, periods, like period. When I not go feel get peace of mind, eh, haters, when I might not go ever touch ground for this social media, for those of now we want to buy on top of Davido and Choma wedding. When I for just say, ah, kudos to Davido, at least now man you be, congratulations. When I supposed to celebrate this couple because of what they've been through, because haters, Desperate baby mamas, there be no one to make these two people become one. God say, what I have joined together, let no man put asunder. No. When I begin to talk, say, David the wet choma out of sympathy. Make when I come listen now, he has been planning his wedding since 2020. Since the year 2020. Even before his late son, by When I hear, huh? <laughs> wow, guys. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. God will bless you, ma. Thank you for putting... The enemies, Davido and Choma enemies to shame. Mm. Just imagine how he give Davido and Choma accolade. Say from 7 a.m. to 4 a.m. Uh, 4 p.m. Like Davido and Choma, they were so strong, they were active because the marriage they sweet them now. Eh? Two love beds come together to become one. What do you expect? Shame on haters. <laughs> shame on haters. I I uh, said I won. It wasn't planned. Mm? It was not planned. He was using Chama for clad. He's using Chama for this. Make una come here and now. Since the year 2022, and all these the desperate baby mamas, they know. They know. Say they will the one married Chama. They begin put asunder. They begin do one thing or the other. This one will come at and pregnant for David. This one will come at come and take care of your child. This one will come and they drag David up and down. Uh, financial abuse is domestic abuse. When they when they know say David the one marry, they begin do everything to make sure say they call off the wedding. David will not go marry trauma. But last last, it still happened. It still happened. Ah, oh um, uh, guys, another episode they come from this from this particular video because I need to come analyze and where for all these desperate haters. Hmm? May they know, say, this marriage has always been a God did it. Yes, a God did it marriage. God is in this story. Hmm? So, may not use this one tell your body first. This is Lebas TV. God bless you massively. Hit on the follow button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember to put up the post notification bell. And to the CEO of a Zafari event, you did a really great job. God bless you, man. You and your team. Oh, man. That wedding too choke. The biggest wedding ever. Yes. She emphasizes on the biggest wedding in 2024. You know, get part two. <laughs> hey, wait. David Achama. God bless you. God bless you both. Your marriage shall be a blessing. Your children shall surround your table. Affliction will not rise again the second time. For all the haters, not sayers, you guys can continue saying what you want to say. Oh, more. But you see this union. You see this marriage, this love bet, this couple, hmm, I bet that they give a lot of people joy, yes, and we are so happy for them. You can keep your opinion to yourself, or you not get what you won't change. Choma is now Mrs. David Adeleke, you not get what I won't talk from nothing, even in, in the next generation to come, it has been done already, done and dusted. Congratulations once more.